What's going on? I'm Prox. Working on mega projects is the most fun you can have and satisfactory. Unfortunately, it is impossible to just work on mega projects all the time. Because what happens is all the things that need to happen in between, if neglected for long enough, pile up to a mega project of their own. And that's exactly where I am right now, which is also known as being totally screwed. And before I can even do anything, I'm gonna need to bring a bunch of resources from over there down to here. Yes, I'm talking about aluminum. This little contraption here is generating 360 aluminum scrap. Doesn't sound like much, but it is going to be more than enough for what we're gonna need it for. There's quite a bit of distance between the aluminum extraction and the actual factory, so I can't really justify running a belt from there all the way to the factory. So I'm gonna do the next best thing. And that, of course, is gonna be a monorail. So first, I'm gonna add one platform, then I'll need to figure out a way to neatly place all of the spaghetti work underneath it, just like so. And I also added one extra conveyor lift at the end here for all of the aluminum scrap that we're gonna be bringing in. This makes the resource highway slightly off-centered, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, then I'm gonna add the train station, then add a couple of freight platforms, plop down a train, then maybe if I extend this a little bit, I can add another cart. That's wonderful. Let's just quickly give this a name. And now I can build the monorail. And there's no better way of doing it than the straight line. Come right to the center. And now I could add another monorail or locomotive. Excuse me. Let's start with a monorail six right on the edge here. Should be good enough. Yeah, this looks about as aligned as it could be. Oh, and it's almost nearly perfectly curved. Beautiful. I know, I know, this is not the flattest, nor is it the most beautiful monorail that you've ever seen. Neither is this for me, but it is gonna be plenty good enough for what I'm gonna use it for. And also, I'm not gonna be looking at it that much. So now let's just give it a quick test drive and see how it handles. Oh no, 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 no. I thought I was just gonna derail, but fortunately, I didn't, and now I kind of have to build pretty much the same exact thing as I did on the mushroom factory. So first let's plop down a tower so I can see better, then get rid of the farting flowers, and then chop down some trees. And now let's build the platform somewhere around in the middle here. There's a tiny bit of clipping going on down there, but there's really nothing I can do about it since these testicle looking trees aren't really destructible now are they? Then simply connect this thing to that thing. A little bit janky, a little bit nasty, but for the purpose it's built for, it's gonna be good. Okay, so now all of the good stuff is connected. I probably should have added the bypass in between the train station and the storage cargo. And the reason for that is quite simple actually. In order to make luminous solution, I have to have water. So the water comes in, makes a luminous solution, and then the whole thing makes its way to the second refinery where it gets turned into aluminum scrap and excess water. And that excess water is going into a reservoir which is connected to a feedback loop to go back into the first refinery. So I need to keep this part of the feedback loop empty enough so that the second refinery can dump all of its excess water, keeping the process going. Otherwise everything is just gonna stop. And that's no bueno. Oh, wait a minute, I, I, I already thought about it. Ah, oh, good. It's such a relief. I don't have to do anything. And now I can start building yet another tower. And this process should be pretty quick. Well, at least faster than it was the first two times. Since I have all of the blueprints, by the way, all of my blueprints are available on my Discord. So if you want to download them, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Holy crap. I just placed down the first blueprint and look at the magical performance I'm getting. Solid 14 frames a second. Luckily, restarting the game was enough to fix the issue. So where was I? Oh, right, I was about to start building this tower. Three floors should be more than good enough, at least for now. Let's also not forget the belt spaghetti. And now, let's add a couple of machines so whenever our aluminum scrap comes in, it's gonna be immediately turned into aluminum ingots. And then on the following floor, I'll turn all those ingots into aluminum products. Oh wow, look at this bad boy zooming! Is this gonna work? Of course this is gonna work. And the train takes off! Great, so we have aluminum, there's already some going in there. 
So convenient placement of splitters underneath. So I can do something like this and like this maybe. Then connect all of these things. Uh, no, that one wasn't convenient at all. Or was it? Nice. And there it is. All the aluminum production. And that is also a milestone that will allow me to unlock probably the coolest item in the game. And... Boom! I'm just flying now. I'm never gonna hit the floor at full speed ever again. So this is it. Well, not technically. I still have to build all the machines in here. Hold two of them. But once I've done that, that's gonna be it. Radio control units in the house. So this will go there. This will go there. Just like this. And this. Come on, let me snap. Just snap. There we go. Unfortunately and anticlimactically, the switch already has been flipped. But I'm gonna flip it once more, just for good measure. Of course, there's one small thing still missing, and that is heavy modular frames and motors. I do believe that those are the only two items that are missing for our preparation for next huge mega project that's going to dwarf everything I've built so far, including these towers. So let's continue with first making some of the components like stators and encased industrial beams, and then all the other stuff. And that's motors and heavy modular frames. And just as you think the heavy lifting is over, it is not. This isn't over. To consider this project being even remotely finished, I have to add one more detail. And that is of course some sort of a centralized storage vault. What, you thought I'll just have this open square area in the middle for no reason? I don't think so. I'll just start with like 7 boxes to bring in all of the most important things from all of the towers, like radio control units, computers, motors, and all the rest of the stuff. But building the vault itself is pretty easy. Right, I'll just slap down some boxes, slap a roof over it, add in some holes, some conveyor lifts, and that's pretty much it. Where things change is when I start thinking about how on earth I'm gonna bring everything in. Every solution that I could possibly come up with is just gonna end up looking wacky and messy. So perhaps the best course of action is to just embrace the mess and see where it takes us. So without thinking about it too much, I'm just gonna start building up because eventually I know I could come up with some sort of an elaborate plan that is ultimately gonna cost so much work and take up so much time that it will just defeat the purpose. You know what, in here I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wing it. Boom! Oh wait, 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 is it... Oh no, 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 wait, 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 no. Doesn't it look weird? Kind of a undersized faucet that is gonna pour all the resources down. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it, where's my jetpack? Whew! I wish there was a quick swap for these type of things, because uh, that got scary. So I'm here, then this thing has to go right here, and the other one has to go here. And now the moment of truth. I take this thing and bring it all the way up. Eventually, at some point, it is going to say, hey, you're running out of length and you can't do that anymore. But if I get close enough, I hope I can snap it to this floor hole. Now can't I? Nope. I really did hope that that would be the case. Oh, but it is. There we go. Beautiful. Now just add a tiny, teeny bit of supports. Oh, that's right. It isn't really possible to place any kind of support on a conveyor lift. Oh, wait. But it is. Because thanks to update 8, I have a little something called nudge. Beautiful. What about this one? Because I know the nudge doesn't really work with height. Oh, oh, it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to. There we go. All the way to this spot. Boom. What about here? Nudge again and up we go. Also, this gives me a cool idea. What if I added power lines to all of these supports? Then I would be just flying up and down and all over the place. How cool would that be? Oh man, now flying around this is really triggering my, <laughs> my height senses, my spidey senses. Oh no, I'm falling, I'm falling. I made a terrible mistake. Luckily, the floor is designed in a way that I cannot really take any fall damage. Because everything's electrified. <laughs> Look, this is gonna blow your mind. I attach one at the top here, and if I go all the way down to the bottom piece, look what happens. Boom! One giant mega conveyor elevator. 
well, two, but uh, still. And then if I attach the power, perhaps in the middle somewhere here, and go all the way up, I can fly around this entire thing with no issues. Beautiful. And would you look at this? I don't know how to feel about it. And it's not even finished yet. So let me just quickly add the rest of the resource intakes. And there you have it. This is easily the most haunted thing that I've ever built, hands down. But given that that was pretty much the idea behind it, I'd say it isn't that bad. If you'd like to see how I got here, make sure you click on the video you see on the screen right now. Anyways guys, that's gonna be all for now. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, or a dislike if you didn't. And as always, this has been Aprox. Thank you for your eyeballs, and I'll see you in the next one.